Where Holy Ghost anabebwa na umwili. If today Mungu atanituma ninyi kuobe tatema na nini? Na miguu. So naomba muwe na afya. Muzizeke haraka. Na usiwe underweight na usiwe overweight. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Ni vibaya sana ukienda pale sababu kuna kilo 100 ukiketi hivi kulala tu. Hello. Ukisema kidogo una keti bila hata kumpago. Hello. Ukiajiriwa pahali na ni kazi ya kusimama. Bosi anaona huyu sasa. Unajua kuna watu wataka kulipwa mshahara wa hurumu atawa kuhurumiwa. Ate ulipwe sababu ya huruma ata kuna jaa. Hutari sababu kuna jaa. Utari because you worked. Is that, is that okay? Bwana abariki atini sasa. Bwana abariki. Now tuko na ibada nzuri sana leo. And we are, we are so happy that Jesus is here. Na bwana mungu. You know. Can I say something? Ukiwa mwaminifu sana. Na upede mungu sana. Eh? Do you know Ata maraika Wagetumo last week wabwe Mwede ibada ya pili Sunday eh, Wagesema Tunatarajia Elijah Atakueko Tunatarajia Mama Alex Atakueko Una mahali babajaria na kaa Do you know angels in heaven No anaketi hapo Ata wakiabua Nani ataenda kuhudumia sade? Ajua, tunajua na kaka bere na atakosa. It's good to be so faithful that even angels can anticipate where you shall be next Sunday. Kwamba, wewe si mtu wa kuamuka, ufikirie hutaenda ibada. Wewe si mtu wa kuamuka, ufikirie kuchelewa. Unampango usio aibisha. Kuna mpango wa huduma usio haribu. Even in heaven, inajulikana. May God cause us to be that way. Kwa maana, jia moja inafanya mungu atebe na mtu. Ni wewe kwelewe kabinguni. Introduce yourself in heaven. Bible says, present yourself as a workman. Amen. God bless so much. Haya, na hiyo kitu vanya mtu wabalikiwe. Haya, it's true. It's true. Kuna mtu wakiamini, mimi, mungu wangu. Tare kubina mtu. Tare kumi na moja. Nitatua milioni moja. Nitatua milioni bili. Na siyo kwa bako na pesa. It is known. Hata badilika. Na ataka hivo. Na atatebea hivo. Paka munga nakupa. Hello, praise God. Kuna mwingine hana kitu wa meagri na munga. Bwa munga as a register. Unakaa tu. Upewe, usipewe. Upeate. Na nini. Watu kama hawa. However much God loves you, ni vigumu atebe na we sana. It's hard. Mugu atebe safari ya bahi na jina. Ati sasa, umeamuka asubui, hujui wede wapi. Mugu atebe na wewe safari ya bahi, ata we hujui. Haiweza kani, haiweza kani. Ati unakotea sade, ukuja tu video kutakua. Hapana, utacho na mugu. Mugu ataka, kama tumesema, praise the Lord, Tuamini mungu uwe na 50 na zaidi. 50 ni minimum. But what do you do? Unaambia bwana ni mesikia sauti yako. Let me, let me, can I teach you how God works for, for five minutes? Nataka tuwele kitabu kinaitua Malakai. Just go there, Malakai. To see, to see how to teach you how God works. Whenever mutaona kanisani unabiu kitolewa. Au mungu akitumana tuwabie kuna kitu anataka tufanye. Agalia ni Malakai chapter 3. Are you there? Aha. Aya. Usiagalia screen, iko kwa baibo yako. Unajua kuna watu wafugui bibiria? Hata unaacha sababu nitawekewa na nahasho Aya Malachi chapter 3 I would like to, to check on something that works And please practice it It's very easy to be rich It's very to If I kuna waduka, kuna wasitana kadisani He will just become rich 
Kuna watu wengine unipigia hizo bishop unakumbuka siku fulani kuna kijana mmoja alikuja hapa kwa ibada nilikuwa nahubiri nimepewa ujumbe usiku nikawa bwana Mungu uende uwaambie watu mtu yoyote aliye katika kanisa asiwahi withdraw maono don't withdraw your vision kuna mtu alifikiri tu ni philosophy na kuna kijana alikuwa hapa alikuwa anasema now god come on as a nita is too much now when I was preaching, he got the message. Hallelujah. Around the cubin, Kasema, Vijana, Sunayaza, a good week he, Mungwa Cooper breakthrough. Wandike two universities in America offering masters in this scholarship. And the brother, Arishika, is the voice of God. He started immediately. Hello, praise God. You know, I wish Ariada Katati a wiki. You know what happened? He did it. Hakutumia agent. Akayanda. Kwa jia abausia kawaida. A university, I think in Indiana. Akasema, young man, we want to consider you. Akatuma resort zake. Akika nikiwa na second class apa. Wakamuambia tupatia contact ya university where you did your first degree. Akapeana mo university. Ile university, Wakamwambia, we want to offer you chance and bow is rare. Wana muna juu America after COVID kuna hii scholarship zinapeano na federal government nyigi zimeisha, watu mengangania sana. But akabua, we will offer you scholarship your masters. Ya kitu, I think it's four or five years. That brother, I give God praise to kiwa kwa ofisi yeye na mama yake akona visa study visa ya 5 years scholarship a so many degree ya masters bila kulipa anything the mother was crying but the brother said bishop this is a product of a sermon you preached don't give up don't withdraw your vision mi anapaka watu it's very ni vibaya ubriwa mara bili tatu wa ibada na ukose neno lako specific your deliverers kuna watu ushika ujube ni wetu wote don't usikoje ujuba watu wote gojea your message hallelujah now let's let me give example here if you check the book of malachi chapter 3 what did god say in verse 10 just go there inasemaje leteni fungu Leteni zaka. Zaka ni taith. Leteni zaka kamili. Is the only thing people have never discovered. Is why God anadimad kitu kamili. Taith. You can give taith all the years. But you never give taith. Did that sound talk about? Kwako you have been giving taith faith free. But you never give taith. Because according to God, anataka zaka kamili. Ijina kamili si kawaida is difficult. Nani mutu tu ameamua, ii mutena tapita. Na wale tumeongea na wakani uza siri ya ikitu, they have gone far. Bishop niyabie, siri na ufunuo wa fugura kumi. What I have taught them is the meaning of jina kamili. That's what the secret is. You can give tithe of your salary. You're not given tithe. Because, praise God. Bwana sasana. Umekutana yu anko, akupatia miyatano. Yo hukutowa. Unajua tu fugura kumina msahara. God, who has sabbed tithe in another dimension, it should be complete. Let me look at this issue. God says something. The tithe fugura kubi kamidi, kiwemo chakura, katika nyumba yangu. Munijaribu kwa jia hiyo asema bwana majeshi. Mujue kama ka, eh, kama sitafugua, sitawafugulia madirisha ya mbinguni na kuamwagieni baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la. Can I ask a question? Is this God's word? Is this God's word? <laughs> Wapedo ineno lijaribiwe. Kama kuna neno any brother atakiwa ashike hivi usubue mungu nalo ni hili. It must be true. Lakini watuwege wana shuguri. 
Shikaneno ukatae. I'll be a God. I want to become what you say. Na utashaga kuna mabo munga takwabia fugura kumi. Huja wa isikia. I. Amen. Buwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kuna wakati huwa nisubua sawa na hii kijana. Kuja hapa. Tumetaka kuria wabedhi. Kuria wabedhi. Eo yo kuria waku. Yo kijana kuna wakati nisubua. Zijiju ni akiri musubua sana. Na bedhi ya kopa. Wezi mamba bedhi. Muna watu wanaka bedhi ya kisi. Udi mume wake. Ukiona kuna mi bani yake na muzee. Sidi. Abana fia. Kareka saka. Kau tila daya nako. Ni hoyo. Mena jeso. Halalo. Bada inuliwe. You see this man one time and he could be a bishop. Nimetoa tithe kwa hii kanisa all the years. But he was telling me bishop I have never become what is written. Wana kaniambia biashara yake inavamiwa. My neighbors wana muinukia na hapo imeadikwa mungu hata mulani ule alai how do they wanaezaje mtu kuniendea wanasema yu kijana afungiwe hiyo afungiwe hiyo watu wanaenda wanahoka ladron atolewe that should not happen bible asema ni tamlani ule alai ayisubo bishop this should not happen kabia basi tuwedele sijika mni sema apewe kahawa unajua mtu wakichemuka na tulisha Kabia jabu lingine bishop imesemekana ni barikiwe ni kose pari pakueka. Haka niambia now, I give tithe, but I've never become this. Na tulika, ah, siku tulika, tulika, paka pana katunenea. Na kambia bishop, I've known the secret. I need to discover the meaning of fungu rakumi kami. Kamili, praise the Lord. And what you know after one, two, three weeks, I'm a bishop. You know something? Ni meshagas kutoka ni kwe siri biashara kuna panuka na haibiwi. And one day I'm a bishop. Unajoni me pata profiti leo ya two point five million. Na wapi na biashara? Paka ni kaya unatakaje? Ni baliki ni nusu juu ni ni baliki wa. Nasi yo peke yake. Hapa kuna watu tumezana Weo naona kama tuna Hatu baham tufa nani Weo mekana Hei kuja Weo mekana hapo Si umikuwa kifia ni kijana tuwa kawaida Eh Umesikia aje sasa Sae ni kiongea pale Si hata umeata kumuangalia na macho ingine Kusama gai kari uoyo Majo hii the church Kuna watu hapa wambadaganyika Unakaa tu nafikiri watu anakaa kama wewe. Nitatoa watu hapa msikie matestimonies. There are people here who forgot to know the Wewe ibada iliisha ukatoka na bag yako na shughuli. Kuna watu wanafuatilia kujua the meaning of the sermon. Na leo habari yenu. Habari ambayo ilitoka. Utaniambia baadaye eh? Now let's see this. Let me ask a question. Look at this issue. Si Mungu amesema leteni fukura kumi kamili kiwemo chakula nitawamagia baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la haya tena amesema verse verse 11 nami kwa ajili yenu nitamkemea yule alaye haisemi we ukemee yasema for your sake au rebuke the devourer ni vizuri kwa watu wa kweli umefukuzwa mara tatu kwa biashara nani mbaya nani amekosea the word of god is true na hata hujali wewe fukuzwa tu umefungua biashara tatu zikianguka na hata hujali you should tell god god there's something wrong with me kwa maana wewe mwenyewe ulisema utamlaani yule alaye na inaonekana ya divaa bwana Mungu wabariki. Haya, now look at this issue. Na ujue verse 8 asema mwanadamu atamuibia Mungu. This this is the hii ni madai ya Mungu ambao is very very painful when the living God atasema amebiwa na mtu. 
Now, ukianda bere, hebu e, nimaliza hii kitu. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Habari yenu. Ada verse 16. What does it say? Dipo wale. Do you hear that? Dipo wale. Walio mcha bwana. Walipo seme sana wao kwa wao. These are the people who cannot allow a message ije tu ipite. Ni wale abao baada ya ibada na mugu anawapatia title. Those who fear the Lord. Waka seme sana. Ete, 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 inaonyecha hivi. Watu walikuwa wengi. But God located a group abana ita those who fear the Lord. Waka ita na mkutano. Waka seme sana. Waka sema truly there's something wrong. That, you know, there was a meeting ya wale wanamuopa mungu and the main agenda was we've heard we've heard Jehovah saying we are robbers. People who felt ni jabo baya sana. Mungu walie hai kudai kwa ba kuna wezi. Hawa getoka ibada. Wali seme sana. Sasa mungu ameramika amesema wei mwemuiba na hata unashuguri. Unatoka tuna na anasema umelaaniwa because umemwibia na una shughuli unaenda and that's how watu about wanadai wameokoka umeokoka but unaoba fair umeokoka but hello praise god hallelujah kwa kiosk na deni you are not supposed to be this church you are supposed to be all rich this promise should be true tunasafiri safari ya utukufu safari ya utukufu si ni kweli so umesema sana what are they saying now, kire kina nishagaza hii verse inasema nini? Tuangalie. Can you read together in Kiswahili? Dipo wale walio mcha bwana walipo seme sana. Kwa wao. Naye nani alisikiza? Naye bwana akasikiliza akasikia. Na kitabu cha ukubusho kikaandikwa mbele zake kwa ajili ya hao walio mcha bwana na kulitafakari jina lake this is the group that god is looking for i wish you could the meaning of this this is deep this is beyond kuketi hapo ni kuhubirie kumehubiriwa but kuna group inaitwa those who fear the lord decided to address the issue Na bwana lipo na wamekusanyika na wanaseme sana kuhusu jaba baro na bia mesema bible nasema what did god do akawasikia akasema this group is different this is a group with distinction this is a unique forum god said in heaven let any kitabu this is the first time hii kitabu natajwa in the bible let any kitabu na kipewe jina jina mpya kiitwe kitabu cha ukubusho hao watu wanaoseme sana adika majina yao hao because nimesikia kile wanaongea hallelujah amen na nasema na kiadikwe na msikize na kiadikwe bere zake when Sake. Bere ya mungu It has a deep meaning Bele Si kwa store Sio kwa waze Hallelujah Buwana asifiwe Ukiende state house Ulize State house controller Mwambie Habari yako e, kuna jabo rangu Iyo jabo Lako Mimi siguzi Liko bere ya president TV Utajua hii mambo yangu si akawa? Waambie officers, how are you? Yes. Iko mradi wangu kule Machakos. I just want to know imefika wapi? All oh, that thing is never ordinary. It is on the desk of the president and he deal with it direct. Kuna watu binguni Mungu hapei Jesus. <laughs> Unakuta your issues zinaka be 
mbele yake. Nataka msikize. Alisema majina ya adikwe na ya adikwe mbele yake. Kwa maana anajua ni akina nani amesikiza. And and now from there Mungu atkaacha kuogea kuhusu watu wote and he started speaking about this group. Akasema this will be the result. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 17. Now watakuwa wangu. Asema Bwana wa majeshi. Katika siku ile nifanyayo. Nam watakuwa hazina yangu. They shall be my treasure. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Nami nitawaachilia kama vile mtu amwaachiliavo mwanae mwenyewe amtumikiae. Dipo mutakaporudi verse 18. Nanyi mutababanua kati ya wenye haki na waovu. Kati ya yeye amtumikiae Mungu na yeye asiyemtumikia. Look at how things are in the church that kuna tokea pahari although we are all brothers and sisters later God said no kutakuwa na distinction who fears God and who na inasema hamuta hitaji kusuguka kusubuka you will see it please haijarishi kama nakaa kwa mitaro the issue is God did not ask who is rich who is poor who stays nanya nakaa kitusuru nanya ka ravington nanya anaka jogorod nanya nakaa na 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 getali mali gogomongo that was not the issue the issue was not the status the issue was those who fears the lord ata kama umetoka korogosho leo asubuhi grogoni amudo grogoni hallelujah ata kama toka wapi i just want to know Nimenena ye katikati ya watu wote who fears God. And that's all. Na akasema these people walk and dikwe kwa kitabu kinaitwa kitabu cha kubukubu bere yangu. Nao watakuwa wangu. Watakuwa hazina yangu. Hallelujah. Na mtakuja kujua who worship God and who does not worship God. Is your God did not ask who is the pastor, who is the bishop, who is church elder. Mungu akuliza and that's why me me ni kaza utakaza mambo ya pesa na baraka. Me si jari who is whatever. The issue is who fears God. Hallelujah. Na biya wa watu kama wewe ni mtumishi, kama wewe ni leader, watch out. Issue kwa ba wewe ni kiongozi ni mzuri. But the issue ya mambo kama haya is ni nani anayeogopa Mungu? Ni nani alipatikana akiwa kwa kikudi cha kuogopa Mungu? Ni nani aliyejirudia baada ya Bwana kusema? Ni nani huyu aliogopa sana Bwana aliponena? That's how God start making his own people. Unakuta mtu kanisani alikuwa bereni you know nimeanza siku hizi kupokea simu Australia, America and nimeanza kufikiria mambo hii sana. Mtakabia bishop unakubuka tarehe fulani Bwana alipokuambia hivyo. Hii mimi ni matokeo ya mahubiri ya siku hiyo. Bishop nakubuka siku fulani ulipo nisalimio kasema Mungu aniinue yes. The, hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Mwanasema bishop nakubuka ukiobea mtoto wangu siku ya dedication eh kuna neno roho wa Bwana aliogea ndio eh ndio limefuata mtoto wangu sasa ako hivi we must know that kuna watu ambao wanaopa Mungu and should be one of them Jesus loves you Let me state one thing and then to Marizia today hiyo ilikuwa mambo ya kuambia siri of how people in the church wanainua na Mungu you see, kuna kitu watu hajui. God talks about those who fear him. Can you imagine kumcha bwana kwa kigereza ni 
those who fear God. Alafu hiyo kitu inaenda hivi inafanya huu mtu amalizie kuwa hazina ya Mungu. Are you understanding now? Are you understanding? Acha tuache hiyo kwa sababu tutaongea hiyo another day. Oh, thank you sisters you know. Tuliwaambia waweke mkeka. Pigeni wa mama makofi waliweka mkeka. Tuliogea tukasema kama haki aweka tukasema hawa mama, hiyo pesa watupatie tuwasaidie kuitumia. I know they are blessed. God you cover them. Hallelujah. Now, areas to overcome. Already we covered part 1 katika ibada ya kwanza. Now we are covering part 2. Areas to overcome. Katika meza ya Bwana siku ya leo, Bwana anataka sehemu zilizobaki. Yes, ulishinda sehemu hii, moja ikabaki. God is talking about being overcomers in all areas. Haiwezekani ni, niwe ni fauru katika kumsifu Yesu na ikifika mambo ya doa mimi ni mtumwa. Haitakiwi niwe kwamba nimefauru kwa biashara na watoto wangu ni wakora. Let me tell you friends, there's something that we should understand. Imekuwa hivi, mtu ameingia kwa biashara, pesa ameingiza, lakini watoto wanavuta bagna ni wakora. Mwingine anakuta watoto ni wazuri, lakini school fees hana. Mwingine unapata, hallelujah, praise God. Unapata we na mke wako mnapendana lakini mnalia nyinyi wawili. In Jesus name. Leo katika meza ya Bwana Mungu ameniambia abia watu wangu wakubali kuwa overcomers. Tukatae sehemu za ujaja wa shetani. Eh. Wakati mnashika mama mkono anambia mama twende tukakule dinner. Sasa nasema nyinyi kuleni lakini watoto nimechukua. Haya, saa zingine watoto ni wazuri. Haya, sawa, wazuri lakini ujue watoto ni wazuri lakini biashara nimeangusha. Haya, biashara sasa ni nzuri lakini wazazi ni wagojwa wote. Are you understanding now? Bwana asifiwe. Pesa uko nazo za kuapply visa hata kulipa dege. Hello? Watoto wakifika Amerika, they are all deported. Unakuta your son alipo igia kazi ya nursing, alikunywa pombe, ameingizwa dege. Mwingine aliingia wapi, akawa na kansa. Hii, uwezo wakuwa pereka uko nao, lakini hawakai, wanaludishu wakua agojwa. Leo nataku wa muru, kwa guvu za buwana, tukubali sehemu zote ziwe covered. Na nikataka katika meza ya buwana leo tukagwe. Na kwabia tukagwe kabisa. Tukagwe kabisa. Tukagwe kabisa. Kwa maana there are those areas that are yet to be covered. They are there. They are there. Buwana ainuliwe. Uko hapa. Nona kuta. Mumezariwa mkua watu sita. Na kwenu all the brothers. Ni wakora na ni walevi. Mikio na kuta kwamba. Una amani. Lakini. Praise the name of Jesus. How can we keep be the same ya kukua bia hatari liyo tokea kwa shure mahali wa tatoka na somea. Mikio na kuta school fees unaripa mitiani wanaguka. Ay. Wapendo we need to know that Jesus want to cover all areas. Na katika meza ya buwana tuataka leo tuachiri ya idamu ya Yesu. Tuachiri ya idamu ya Yesu. Tuachiri ya idamu ya Yesu. Tuachiria idamu ya Yeshu. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unakuta you are a very good brother. But your mother is a diviner. Unakuta mama yako, baba yako. Ameingia dini za kiuchawi. Ukienda nyumbani unapata mzazi ameisha. Ameisha. Kuna maroi na mumaliza. Hello, praise God. Gari umemumunulia. Lakini ni mtumwa wa manabi wa uongo. Na unapata miaka yote kwa sababu your mom na your dad 
waligea hiyo mambo kuna maroho imeanza kuwafuata hata ukienda wapi au ingie ndege those powers for you know I was having an issue ya yeah, a lady ametoka na Kenya ako America somewhere akaniambia bishop nilifikiria nikija America I'm free yale mambo wana experience left very nyumba yao unasikia mambo ambao unaweza sikiza kichwa kinauma alipoenda America can you imagine all other people wanaajiriwa yeye akiajiriwa within a day anavutwa ako America na anaomba chakula the same alipokuwa na wenzao okay, huku they are doing the same alifikiri kwa maana kwao watu hawaolewi ni kama alikataliwa akiada America labda pata kama usugu au kama nigoro kama braka America ah ndio hata amechukiwa zaidi na kwa maana watu wanacheza na maisha mimi najua shetani yuko na ni muwaji na hakuna shetani at, wakati ataokoka na tunakaa as if satan does not exist tunakaa as if as if mambo ni mazuri no no we need to make sure amen mambo ni mazuri kwa maana niliyatebelea na nikanenea damu ya Yesu mambo ni mazuri kwa maana dugu yangu nili make sure ameokoka i did not assume ni mzuri mambo ni mazuri kwa maana nilikanyanga pale na nikasema damu ya Kristo itawale haleluya Elias to overcome zikaguliwe leo na tuseme damu ya Yesu sasa ingie i want to speak to your areas of defeat we must handle them now wakati umefika tuelekeze nguvu kwa area fulani ambao hapo dipo nguvu yetu hupotelea uko hapa doa yako ni shita jameni We ufikia amani tu ukiwa na wadudu hapa kwa nyumbo kifika unasikia kama kutoroka mume wako kuna roho ilimuingia na daima ni kama ana roho ya kukuua <laughs> unajua wao shame somebody akaambia anko yake vile alivyo wako na anko bao they suspect na nimwambia si ku suspect that man is deep deep in witchcraft huwa kwao akikaka anakuita anakuita karibu ukimkaribia tu mkule dina huwezi kama mwezi mmoja akikuja kuambia sasa si tutebee kwako tufurahie tu mutebee another one year kwako kutaenda watu wawili can i tell you the truth kama una mtu wenu ambao ni wa tabia hiyo kitu kimenishangaza waweza kuwa na mtu relative ako mbali na ni satanist you be surprised dunia ya kiroho kama hii face waweza kuwa wewe unakaa Mombasa na yeye anakaa Marava lakini katika spiritual realm wewe ndio next target na mkubali we want to declare everywhere everywhere this anointing must touch everywhere Amen. i said must touch everywhere Amen. na msijifanye unakuja hapa tunaangalia na hivyo unaenda nyumbani tuambie bishop kuna issue haleluya bwana asifiwe you know i was so happy one time i was called in na dada wetu moja pade zadika akambia bishop sasa we can't allow this now tutaisha hapa kwetu kuna msichana ameingia kwa ushetani kama huyo waje vile unaanguka hiki huyo agabadilika antium naona litra ni mnyama na ikawa kwamba nikaambia sasa dada siwezi kuja dhika nitatuma bishop wetu wa dhika bishop akaenda usiku saa 4 kumpigia asubuhi akamwambia bishop tumeomba mpaka asubuhi nikamuuliza umekemea pepo for hours the last too long hukurara yaani ulikesha ndio pepo itoke sema nilishughulikia na asubuhi akaokoka 
kupiga simu kule hakuna delivery za matedeka ndio ameharibika kwa maana gabadilika hivi the whole house hata kama mko watu mia you have to run away wakabia bishops si ukuje i was quite tired ni was ni mandi nikaambia brother mogoye keep twend mpaka huko twende haraka tukibie na nikitoka hapa ananiona anasema huyu mmeita ni nani huyu nikasema msiruhusu atoroke afugiwe kwa nyumba kama atabobo hapo moe so nipo na kafika kwa gate siku salimia watu sana sometimes mtu anataka mission mnaongea baadaye nilienda ako wapi pale twende kaja na mzazi wake kuniona jameni ya kaza kugaga huko na nini huu msichana ungemwombea mpaka ufikiria amekobolewa hata anaokoka ukitoka anabadilika anarudi kawaida kwa maana what they used to do na ni kitu labda kama huna nguvu nyingi ya, ya upako huwezi this day they are doing this ukianza kumwombea anachukuliwa so analala hapa lakini ame sasa nyinyi mwachiwa mwili mnaoyombea mkimaliza hiyo roho na ruh so mimi nilijua alijaribu hivyo nikasema demon i arrest you haikutoka huendi we are fighting hallelujah hapo nikaiweza alafu alikuwa kika huyo alikuwa hata sema ukimwombea sema sema nataka kuokoka yani ukiwa na nguvu sana anajifanya sema niombe niokoke so uja kemea pepo niombe nioko afika magoti sema nyuma yangu bwana yesu na na hapo nakupokea na if you are not careful akiopa hataji jina yesu bwana yesu mm. and uh, and then i said god ai ono oh, mono ku akaketi hapo nikamwangalia kama god if this lady saved bwana kaambia pana 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 and then bwana kanipa a higher anointing ya discernment kubabanua nikaona vitu kwa macho bwana kaniambia ako na siraha za hali ya juu zimefichwa kwa macho yake kaambia kuja hapa alipona nimeelekeza vidole bili kwa macho demons ikajua somebody has discovered our secret weapon he sija yona violence kama hiyo alinuka kapiga pa kaenda chini now now what she's doing she's trying to avoid nifikie macho lakini nikamshika kuna nguvu gani mtu upata kumshika hapo anatulia nikanenea hayo macho asema bishop umeniweza akasimama kabia bishop um, i'm over now akamwambia no something bishop sikufichi mahali watu naenda haikujulikana kama kuna mtu agegudua siri iliyokuwa kwa hii macho so bishop i could kill pastors nigaribu families at will kwa maana nilijua hakuna siku hizi mtu ana upako wa hiyo level nasa bishop mimi ni maezwa na akakobolewa amen you know what happened tripa ya kuketi chini kukula unajua those who are so deep they don't eat meat na kunywa maziwa wana walio dani sana those are want to do so funny things at night tripa mahali tulenda kuketi nilikuwa nimekoa maziwa na nyama eh chakula ya mtumishi si ndio nikaambia kula hizi akakula yote kwa sababu nini chakula nimekobolewa Now kile kisha Gaza nikupeana orodha ya 2 years ya watu ambao walikuwa uwe na anachanganya you can't detect alikuwa aanze na grandmother how they you know they do that ili mfikirie yule amekosa sababu ni mu ni mzee alafu auwe kijana wa kwanza alafu auwe mwingine mzee they mix alipeana orodha akasema sasa na akasema mshukuru mtaishi na tukipita nikaona mmoja alikuwa na recruit. Eh hey, mama Remo ume eh hey, walikiwa. Nakuletea shoshu hapo mbalikiwe. Jesus is Lord. And now in Jesus name we are going to cover all areas. 
na kama kwenu kuna mtu unashuku ni satanist today we are destroying that person in just name kama kuna mtu kazini alisema utaniona wewe na mwambia leo atajua kuna Mungu aishie katika hore communion we are going to cover areas rather them or no umekuwa ukiombea mengine but today you, you are covering areas about hakujua you can cover oh hata unaingia katika upako wa hali ya juu unaenda kugundua hata siraha ambazo zimetumika against you ah, in the name of the lord Hallelujah. Wasichana mliofungwa mfunguliwe na muoleo na matajiri. Wafurana bao. You are confused kwa maana kuna mapigo imejirudia all through. We are breaking those patterns. By the anointing of the spirit, you must be free. Ugojwa bao unafuata watu kwenu paka umewatia hofu. You are gaining authority of it. You are stepping of it. You are bringing souls down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Na leo msiogope. Meza ya Bwana leo ni ya vita. Si ile ya kusema Yesu nakupenda tu. Habia Yesu, 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 Yesu kukupenda nimemaliza hiyo haina shida. Sasa Yesu anataka sasa utokee kama sujaa. Sujaa wa msalaba. Jesus you appear as the warrior suja wa msaraba wewe ulie fungwa tangu utoto wako kwenu mkikutana even your mother is hopeless you are going to be appointed now you are the one to restore order you are the one to restore boldness ile ujasiri ulipotea kwenu wewe ndio unayecheza sasa mzazi wako ambao amefungwa Mombasa leo tunamfungua baba yako ambao unajua ni mchawi tunamfungua leo mtoto wako anayekutisha Unajua children are becoming now agents of the evil one and they are becoming the best agent of suffering. Unakuta kuna mtoto ukimfikiria damu inapanda. Anybody anakijana hapa, unamsichana hapa, amekusubua akili mpaka una amani. Oh my god, today we are arresting them. They cannot avoid this anointing. I said they cannot avoid this anointing. Kuna brother yako anafanya mama yako alia throughout. I tell you he will not avoid this anointing. Nataka mujiadae we are getting them all. We are arresting them all. We are arresting them all. The Lord told me kwa meza ya Bwana leo we are going to cover Elias. Elias to cover. Elias to cover. My God, there's a family here. Shetani ameua watu kwenu na kasa. Let the devil know today that issue is being addressed in this church. Amen. Kwenu watoto wanasoma kifika form 2 wanaacha shule. Let the devil know sasa we are addressing that station. Amegojea watu hata wajukuu wenu hapo. Nataka kuambia things that have not been addressed they are truly not addressed. Usifikiri mtoto wako atafika university wakati rana ya nyumba yenu inasema hampiti form 4 let the devil know kumezaliwa mtu in that family who is addressing that issue na nitarehe ya leo kwa ibada ya pili katika hore communion we are doing something jesus we worship you jesus we worship you una uoga usioelewa unasikia kama any time you can die kwa maana kuna mtu amekushabulia mpaka una defense there is an issue imejirudia in your life na ikija unakuta huna kinga yenyewe hata ukiabudu nasikia what you are do this fear is too much unasikia kama you can faint there is something that is destabilizing you i tell you may the lord hold you now and make you stable may the lord hold you now and make you stable mungu ambaye anaondoa mtu kwenye udongo wa utelesi akusimamishe kwenye mwamba leo na atie wimbo mpya kwa kinywa chako na sema bwana wa mabwana okoa leo watu wamekuwa kila wakati kwenu waruko na akili paka hata wewe that demon imeanza kukutebelea you are getting mild depression kwenu kuna problem ya depression 
and of late you are get you are sensing uko na hiyo na kwa maana ni kitu kimewapiga mpaka mmezoea unajaribu kujiweka guvu it is so strong kwa maana ni stronghold sio ya siku bili so inakuja kwako ikidai wewe ni sehemu ya damu ya your family and because you are part of that family it is a stronghold nataka kuambia wewe dada uko hapa wewe mzee uko hapa na hiyo issue kama Mungu aishivyo let the devil know you are not the ordinary brother mezoea we are pulling down that stronghold now is the end of that pattern watu kupata depression Hey, hey. We're getting muto mezoea. Let me tell something. These days, a demon yes, aigia muke wa mtu. Au igie mume wa mtu. Na awe ni mume, lakini anakumaliza. Si yeye. Ame acquire a spirit. Aki kuona, anasika kukumaliza. Let me tell the truth. We are claiming your real husband. That man is your real husband. But because yeye ndiye mnakana yeye muko bedroom moja shetani kafikilia this is the best person kutumia kumuumiza ule dada ebu sikieni as jehovah lives the demon that is using your husband must live now as i speak but the authority of the blood of jesus christ hallelujah sometime unaogopa kuikia bedroom you feel like that man can kill you akifugua mdomo kuogea kichwa kinauma before he speaks it is your husband lakini the devil no vile amepagawa na hiyo antichrist spirit yeye ndiye the suitable weapon because you are yoked together now kuingia na ingia mtoto huwezi epuka mtoto wako ni damu yako eta wa waku na kwa maana imemwingia huwezi baba jeli huwezi epuka wale wasichana wana pale wanakaa wawili mimi senti hale eh una unajua wale wana kedhi na kedhi na kale akage kale akakoro haleluya si kweli bwana asifiwe and i thank god for your mom your mom struggled a lot your mom struggled mama jeli wakati alikuwa hai there's no day hage sema namlika na ida wa jeli in meeting akinipata kwa ofisi hata kuna viti vijana wakaliaga pale wanasema nini mama jeli data aliata viti saba asema hii oh ndeke dhi aliata mada asubuhi na nini hakuko na viti kama hiyo hapa hii ni ya jeli kedhi medicine Tony na Tony so Tony dia sasa anakalia yake na balida atakuja. <laughs> Akasema, you know what I was told? Anoint every chair. Na bishop huko hata maletwa, tamu ya jina. Araba kaenda. Akasema bishop, my children and my husband will one day sit in this church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Na niambia ni anointings of it. And I was the truth it is so interesting who alikuwa mulevi sasa ameokoka. Kukaka kidogo akatumana. Akasema bishop waitwe. Kwa mama mawili about they were unusual. Kwa mtu mulevi na mkali kama huyu. PZ. <laughs> Akasimama akasema mm -mm. kuna mambo nitasema na siku nimeambia mtu na bawana nimekuita bishop ushukuru Mungu kwa miaka 40 nimekaa na umama hayae na batu nikamona kwa magoti nataka kuokoka <laughs> na sasa nakuta yeye yeah, ako hapa wale wako pale ule ako pale which means now mom was fighting against something and she overcame and remember siku ya ubatizo huyu alipata raini pale mimi sent hapo kedhi hapo there was a family raining up on baptism day which means mama was an overcomer don't sit don't just sit there hallelujah hata kama aliaga 
she went and overcome her. She went and overcome her. Kama biguni mama huruhusiwa kuagalia uzao wake, mama Jerry is always worshiping. Jesus receive glory. What about when we withdraw because ya kutishwa? Don't withdraw. Meze ya bada leo kishika mkata. Wabie baba ni kifiriki hii. Furani na furani. Guvu zako ze muangukie. It happens. Actually, kama mujui, huo mkata kishika hivi, ukishiriki guvu abazo zirishida kifo. You can confess them. Wana munajua Pastor Muri, Manerobi South. You know, one day to require the Holy Communion Baptist, Baptist Center. We were there the whole parish. And then, I didn't know much about Muri. There is a brother here. Nanaria Machosi. Kwamano Riwa Muke. Akaungana na your mother because mama yake alikuwa mchawi na uchawi na dugu alipo wa muke badra ya mama augane na wakovu wa mume akaungana na mother in law and they were practicing witchcraft na yu kitu likuwa I didn't know I didn't know anything like that but I said there's a brother here muke wako ameungana na your mother na wame kusubua sana na witchcraft I just say that nikasema ukishiriki mwiri huu guvu ilio mfufu wa kristo it will fall on your wife na itamuangusha na nikamabia right now wako kwa witchcraft ya likula mi hata si kujua but brothers it was on Thursday on Friday tukiwa kesha dadora nikiingia hivi Muri alingia na muke wake. Mama kasema bishop yesterday saa tisa tukiwa sijui makoweni kuna nguvu ni agusha ni kazugukwa na utukufu ni kalia na tulikuwa tumeenda na mzazi wangu uchawi na bishop jana diyo nilio koka na usiku was Friday Friday Nikamuwabea kajazwa. Now Pastor Muri is happy preaching. Kule makoeni and the wife is a powerful intercessor. We are not leaving anything uncovered. So when to shkudu bwana, riba abo shikata abo sa. Meza abana ikuja, we want to serve God now. Nataka kila mutu sasa unia mikono Cover every area, taja Mahali ya papo unamia Mahali ya papo imekua station ya uchungu Imekua station ya mateso Imekua station ya kaka Cover those areas now Makasa tibakosa Dai, dai ukobozi Omba usiadaria mutu Be serious now Damu ya Yesu siwa mchezo Mwiri wa Yesu siwa kuchezewa Omba, 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 omba Riba, baba, baba Yes, mention it 